Bringing you the best mix of music right here, right now. This DJ here is probably the best DJ in the world. Lock it on to the best station on the net. Welcome to this week's episode of K Pop Corner. I'm your host, Adam Riley, and each and every week, I bring you some amazing treats from the world of South Korea. We have all sorts of different guests on actors, comedians, dancers, musicians, even a few pop groups and singers. <laughs> This week we have a very special guest indeed. It is Sandy, the founder of Japico Music. She took a break from preparing the newest issue of Japico's magazine to sit down and answer some of my questions. Earlier in the year, Japico Music featured an article based on K Pop Corner, and now we have them on the show talking about their publication. Sandy also chooses 10 of her favorite songs on behalf of Japico Music, so we have a lot to get through. We'll let Sandy introduce the first five Japico Music favorite tunes from the world of Korea. Then we'll head straight into the interview and we'll finish off with Sandy again, rounding out the show with the other five songs from the top 10. Let's get on with the show. Hi, I'm Sandy, founder of Jabaco Music. You are listening to k p o p Corner with Adam Riley. And now, and now, bringing you the hottest sounds. Let's go! Let's go. One, I、uh, would go for Infinite with their latest release, Bad. To be honest, I really just love the song. It has a nice tune and the music video is absolutely awesome. The second one would be 24K with their song Hey You. Because, first of all, their song has been produced entirely by their leader, Hori, and that the choreography has been created by another member, by Dale, which kind of shows how talented they are and what they can do, so we really think that they deserve much more attention.
this is K-Pop Corner with your host Adam Riley, bringing the best of Korean music to the rest of the world. Europe's one and only show dedicated to K-Pop and much more every week. The next song would be Legends with Shadow because they are also such a talented group. We have heard the story behind creation of Legend and it's actually really, really interesting. We hope that somehow the fans will also learn about that story. And we've known that they have trained so much to actually truly sing each one of their songs live while dancing. And we all know how hard it can be to dance and sing at the same time. And we think their hard work should definitely be rewarded. Lose your head now. Lose your head now. Jasper with the song Hungry, Sick Jasper, or previously known as Ozik from MIB. He's a great rapper and really love the song Hungry. It's very original and quite catchy. <laughs> Shower, finally find it. Eat up on the thumb with sick of what winning when I will. I always win. Yo, let's play taxes. Hold the gun and go dot. Chicka mui, me head and pen and a poker. Get that got pegging and dumb. They didn't neg up a model. Mox and bull jam will buy that. Those are dead or wise to the stun. Hold up, more than get it. This day to that time and get tongue in chit and dang in chit. Don't want to go to the get you. Look at me. Look at me. Get your chicken and a kid. Eagle back campaign. Chong chin chat and a bake. Chong two to get the Got 7, just right, their latest release. 
I would choose this one because of the message that they actually give in the song because they are telling that all the girls are pretty and that they shouldn't look to judge their flaws and they should see their own qualities and I think it's kind of an important message to give to young girls they should feel confident with who they are and especially when you know how media in Korea gives this ideal type of what a girl should look like so that the group like God Seven did a song like this. Big round of applause. Keep on going, guys. Baby. You are. Go to go to. Can't buy your mother to the moon. Told her no to mother to the moon. I'm good to pack up here. What ship would I go? Jigum Kumusip, could they have one book at Dago? Mania, him book coming to a coaching up. She put your country me one tea, Chucky up. Told that she could not in a bitch about a bar. Told that she met to me all at Tava Bar. I'm in North and Tobado. Pogot Tobo, Cot Tobado. Nigga, my hand in the net. this one but there's more to k-pop than just gangnam style join me adam riley every week on k-pop corner bringing you the best of korean music interviews and music from all genres this is europe's one and only show dedicated to the world of korean music bringing you not only the stars but also hidden talent from South Korea. Okay, maybe we'll have a little bit more sigh if you ask nicely. I'm a... Left speaker.
speaker. Check. Right speaker. Check. Mic. Check. Here we go. Hi, it's great to have you on the show. Can you just start by telling us a little bit about when your company started and where did the initial idea and name come from? Well, actually, Japaco Music officially started in December 2012, but we got the idea of the project a little bit sooner. At the end of this year, it will be our third year that we are actively promoting Korean and Japanese music as well as culture in Europe. We were working for another independent media that was related to pop rock music previously. And back then, the editor decided to put us in charge of discovering music internationally. We actually already had an interest in Japanese rock and pop music, which we got to know due to our interest in anime and Japanese culture. But by working for this media, we discovered K pop. And We found it very interesting. We also discovered that there were quite some fans in Europe, actually, much more than we expected, and we thought it'd be interesting to step in and promote Korean music as well as Japanese music. We wanted to combine both because we would this way regroup both our passion for Asian cultures as well as our passion for music, and so we thought it'd be a great idea to put that together. Virginia, aka Vivi, is a born writer, and myself, even though I say it myself, have some management skills. We decided let's create Chapaco music together using our creativity and determination to make this a reality. The name Chapaco actually comes from the following words Japan, passion, and Korea, which makes Chapaco. Basically, what happened?、Uh, we were talking about the project and saying, okay, we need a name. Let's play around with some words, let's try to figure it out. And it ended up being an actual quite funny night because we're really playing around. And then we came on by laughing about, we came to Japaco music and actually also said, oh, Japaco, it kind of sounds like a parrot. So that's how we kind of decided, yeah, let's use that name,、uh, make it Japaco Music, and use parrots as kind of mascots. We actually think the name represents as well, it's because it sounds fun, it's colorful, maybe also a little bit original, but it can still sound a bit professional, so I think that represents us definitely. How many people were originally involved and how has the team grown since starting? In the very beginning, it was just Vivi and I. I created a quite basic website and we worked it all by ourselves. It was, to be honest, really, really hard. <laughs> But soon enough, we had the chance to meet Sonia and Mel, who joined us quite quickly. They are our main designers. And they have definitely strengthened our presence in the K pop world. Their arrival was really something that we needed. From this collaboration, many really good things came out to new websites, the magazine design, for example, the logo, and so on and so on. They are actually still with us after those three years, and still. Working hard for Japaco Music, and to be honest, we're really, really grateful for them to stick with us like that because sometimes we're thinking without them, where would we be now? <laughs> But after a couple of months, the team started to grow because we needed more people to handle the workload. <laughs> And today, I must say, we have a team of really great and nice volunteers who are working hard every day to run Japaco Music. And we're really, really, really grateful to have such an amazing team that is here supporting us in our goals. We're still kind of growing. Actually, we need to add more people because we get more work, more projects.、Um, so, if anyone is interested, do not hesitate to contact us either on our Facebook page, on our website via the join button, or message us even on Twitter, and we will definitely reply. 
rather than just focus on Korean, you decided to include Japanese music as well. But what was the reason behind this decision? We already had an interest in Japanese music that we discovered via the animes, which have always been a big part of our life since our childhood. And we really liked the unique and kind of different taste that Japanese music has, at least from what we know here in Europe. So we really wanted to not just focus on one genre and decide let's just do K-pop or let's ju- just do J-pop or J-rock. We really wanted to combine both, maybe also because we are not just enjoying K-pop, but we are enjoying music or we're fans of music in general. And we think you can like both J-pop or J-rock and K-pop next to other sides of music. It's also true that K-pop is kind of rising more and more in popularity in Europe nowadays. So it was also good to add K-pop definitely. But we think Japanese music also has its place and we kind of wanted to help both cultures to spread in Europe and so that's why. What are some of your biggest achievements? And have you faced any particularly tough times so far? I'd say that one of our biggest achievements is certainly our Japaco Mag Korea. This hard copy magazine has started beginning of 2014, January 2014, but we worked on it already a lot longer before, of course, but we're publishing it for now more than a year. The sixth issue has just been released and we're already currently working on the content of the seventh issue. So we're really proud of what we achieved with that so far. On the particularly tough times, well, I'd say that every project, every organization faces difficult times, especially uh, in their beginnings. To be honest, it was really hard to start with the hard copy magazine because we needed the entertainments to, to trust us and trust that we would do a good job and then also give us the opportunity to interview their fans. But we kept on trying and kept on contacting them and our our determination actually finally got its reward with our first issue already because we've gotten the opportunity to have Vix do the cover of our very first Japakoma Korea and we were kind of really proud of that one because it was quite an achievement. Another difficulty maybe sometimes is the competition. K-pop is growing, K-pop popularity, so K-wave is starting to grow quite a lot. Therefore, we get more competition because more people want to get involved in this. But fortunately, our readers are sticking with us. We hope that it's because they love our philosophy and our professionalism. But in any case, we're very grateful to our readers. They are always very supportive. And yeah, we will probably face some more difficulties, but we're ready to take on any challenge. What has the feedback to your publication been like? And are you actively taking on board suggestions from readers to make future improvements? Until now, I would say that most of the feedback received by the readers have always been quite positive. There still are. We actually even got some professionals being quite appreciative of our work. Our goal is really to have a magazine that has a good quality, paper-wise and design-wise, but that also comes with an interesting content. Which means even though we focus on promoting music and that we try to have a lot of interviews, we also want to promote the culture and that way we try to give interesting information about different aspects of the culture in order for our readers to discover those different aspects of Korea or Japan. Of course, for us, feedback is really important and we will always take the suggestions of our readers into consideration. Readers can always send us a message, tell us what they think. We also would like more interaction. So we have a fan section in our magazine where they can share their fan art with the rest of our readers. We also collaborate with indie artist Dabit. He has his own column called Dabit's Thoughts. Sometimes we will ask our readers if they have any ideas of which questions they would like him to reply. 
So those are our kind of small things where we try to have hands interaction. Following on from that, what plans do you have in 2015 to further strengthen your brand? Actually, a little hint for the future. <laughs> we have a new permanent guest with a new column coming up in the next issue in number seven. I will not say more than that because we're still kind of wanting the fans to guess who that will be. The only thing I can say as a little hint is it's a member of a band that we support. Are there any exciting features and interviews that you can reveal for future editions of the magazine? We are currently working on our seventh issue. I can tell you that there will be quite a lot of interviews because this follows a little bit our visit in Korea. We came back with a lot of interviews to share with our readers, um, so that's definitely a highlight. I cannot tell you exactly who will be featured, but I can give you a few hints. One of the interviews will be of a rookie group that is actually coming back this August. We will also have an interview of a girl group, which I think is quite popular here in Europe, so that's a nice one too. On the cover of our magazine this time will be an indie artist, but it's someone who we really support because we really believe in his talent as a musician. And there will be, again, a band that appears quite often in our magazines, but I think you can really look forward to this next issue. What would be your ideal collaboration between a Korean and Western artist? Actually, this is quite an interesting question. We do actually have an ideal collaboration which we would really like to happen if it's ever possible. I'm not sure if you know this artist, but his name is Milo. He's from Belgium and he's making this beautiful acoustic music. He's actually quite popular in Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany and France, from what I know. And the collaboration that we would like to see is between Lunafly and Milo. We think this would be such a perfect collaboration because their music could match their style and their voices together could really match. So maybe one day we'll see that happen. We definitely <laughs> dream for that one. Thanks again for doing this interview. Do you have any final words for the listeners? Anything that you want to promote or anything that you want people to pay attention to? I would like to say definitely thank you so much for this interview and for listening to uh, what I had to say. And please check us out on our social media like Facebook or Twitter. Uh, definitely come on the website, jabacomusic.com. I'd say come and discover what we do, our magazine, but also our philosophy behind the whole project. It's really worth a look. Don't hesitate to comment and let us know your thoughts, maybe about the magazine or about the website. Any suggestion is really, really appreciated. I'd say just come and join the Japaco community. I'm really sure that you will like it. We all know this one, but there's more to K-pop than just Gangnam Style. Join me, Adam Riley, every week on K-Pop Corner. Bringing you the best of Korean music. Interviews and music from all genres. This is Europe's one and only show dedicated to the world of Korean music. Bringing you not only the stars but also hidden talent from South Korea. OK, a y maybe we'll have a little bit more sigh, if you ask nicely. OK, a y thanks again to Sandy from Japco Music for taking the time to answer those questions. Be sure to check out japacomusic.com for more information. We're going to see out the show now as Sandy introduces... The last five from Japaco Music's top 10 Korean songs. So for now, it's bye from me. Don't forget you can check out K-Pop Corner on various different social media channels. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram.com forward slash K-Pop Corner UK. You can find older shows on Mixcloud.com forward slash K-Pop Corner UK. You can even head over to our official page now to learn more about the show. It's K-Pop Corner UK. Dot com. And don't forget, in every single instance, 
That's corner with a K, not a C. This is all about South Korea. Don't forget to join us next week. Find out the show times and the special guest on the Facebook page. And don't forget to check out japacomusic.com for their wealth of information, interviews, and all sorts of goodies. Look after yourselves. Behave. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Catch you again soon. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm a mammal. I'm or I am. Not sure if I pronounce this right, but <laughs> Mamamoo has quite good songs. They also show some real talent, and I think the song is particularly catchy and well composed. BIG, Between Night and Music. BIG is a group that we think deserves much more attention. They are talented and really nice guys. They work hard and, to be honest, uh, I think their last song was really, really good. 1400 feet, still looking very good. I'm 
마치 꿈을 꾸는 듯이 춤을 추는 것 같아 너에게 바라고 싶어 오늘 밤이 좋아 너와 함께면 음악이 끝나가기 전까지 파래 뭘 해도 좋아 너와 함께면 Tonight, tonight, tonight Oh baby 음악 사이 And never know 나의 사이 Oh baby baby 음악 사이 And never know 나의 사이 Yeah yeah 넌 씩한 것 같아 괜찮아 내가 더 씩씩하게 다가갈게 여자들이 요라면 어느 꿈이 하오 꿈에서 그리던 나의 판타지 어딜 가나 눈에 띄어 존재감 역시 확실해 언제 어디 하나 햇빛 같아 그 빛이 내 눈을 멀게 이러니 지나가고 음악 소리 멈춰도 마치 뭔가 홀린 듯이 내게 주문을 외워 나에게 You're listening to K-Pop Corner with your host, Adam Riley, bringing the best of Korean music to the entire world every week. Number eight will be Mr. Mr. with the last song out. This is mostly because it's a group that has been featured in Japaka music quite often and they actually every time they send us a message they call themselves the Japakus Men and we kind of think they definitely are since they've been featured maybe in the magazine or on our YouTube channel or the website. It's a group that we support and that we think are quite talented. Oh, yeah. 
싶은 걸 Hotshot, this rookie band is, I think, a band that has quite some potential that we will definitely keep an eye on. Their songs at this moment are quite interesting and quite good, so yeah, this is definitely a band that we will keep on looking at. Yeah, you know if you get that one chance, you can never let it go.
Girls' Generation, Psy, Big Bang, Super Junior, 21, Crayon Pop, IU, Sister, Tiara, EXO, and much more. We've got everything you need right here on K-Pop Corner. Your education into Korean music every week. And then as a very last one, we'll go for history with uh, Might Just Die. Just because after a very first listening, we definitely directly fell in love with the song. It's catchy and it has still some kind of maybe a dramatic side. So we think it's definitely a song to listen to. Don't worry, I'm not your enemy. 